The motherly instinct clearly cuts across all species. Well, this is evident at the Reteti Elephant Sanctuary in Samburu County, where women play a crucial role in wildlife conservation, caring for elephant calves with the same tenderness and care as their own children. Mashirima Kapombe set, spent some time with Naomi Lechongoro, a 24-year-old elephant whisperer, who is raising the profile of women in her community by tending to the elephant's young. Take a look. The mighty elephant is revered all over the world. In Kenya, it's an iconic animal that forms part of the Big Five. In Samburu County, the elephant's presence usually spells doom, destruction, and in some instances, loss of lives and livelihoods. Until now. Hello, Feeding time at Reteti Elephant Sanctuary is a sight to behold. Elephant calves rush in and grab their bottles just like a hungry baby would. This one chooses to be independent when feeding. Within seconds, the bottles are empty and they relax, allowing the milk to settle. Naomi Lechongoro is a 24-year-old elephant keeper at the Reteti Elephant Sanctuary and has been feeding the calves for at least four years. She joined the sanctuary in 2016. She was quite young then, but through her sheer determination and passion to learn more about elephants, she earned her stripes and a sport taking care of the calves. Naomi benefited from the sanctuary's policy to hire locals, a Form 4 lever, the elders, Picked her. <laughs> With time, she realized her fears were unfounded since her duties involved the elephant's young and not the larger animals. The cows sheltered here are those that have been rescued from the wild or found abandoned. Longuro was brought here last year. He was alone and had been attacked by a hyena, his trunk half eaten. Tukiletoa mtoto kama sahi ya kumgunjwa, kumule mavu, ni jukumuletu kusaidia uye mtoto ndio aishi. Sasingine kama kuna uye sahi mwenyame ana mkono, mkono yake ni nusu. Kigumu hata kumsaidia kwa sabu, sasingine unataka kumsaidia, lakini ni kama anajihizi kama ee mwenye ndio anataka kujilisha. The staff are sensitive to the calves. Compassion is key. The health of the rescued calf is top on their priority. Calves that are brought into the sanctuary undergo mandatory lab tests to ensure they do not have pathogens that could infect the rest of the herd. Naomi is among nine women who work at the sanctuary. Seven are elephant keepers. Two are in senior management. The decision to have women take charge of the calves was a deliberate attempt to change patriarchal views that are still prevalent in the community. Wasichana wengi kutoka jamii wa Samburu waweze kushughulikia hawa ndovu na pia ndovu wanawapenda kuliko kuliko wanaume. Just like with children, Naomi and her female colleagues are more patient with the calves. But it is the inclusion of other women in the community that makes rescue and rehabilitation of the calves an important aspect of the sanctuary. It has also established an ecosystem that is mutually beneficial to the community tumeweza kuchukua maziwa kutoka kwa jamii ambaye sana sana ni wanawake uh, sana sana ukiangalia mifugo ni mzee wa boma ndio wako na idhini ya kuusa labda kuchinja ama kufanya jambo lingine ilhali kwa maneno ya maziwa 
kina mama ndio kama uh, kama ni mbusi ngombe ngamia hao ndio wanajua vile watagawa hiyo maziwa kupatia watoto hata kama kuna ida surplus kidogo kwenda kuusa hiyo ni kasi ya mama Naomi's effort in rehabilitating baby elephants is what makes her a great elephant whisperer but the women in surrounding villages are loud about the economic gain that has come into their manyatas through this sanctuary Every morning the local women converge at Balisunye village in Namunyak bottles filled with goat milk in their hands <laughs> The precious liquid is for the younger elephant calves at the sanctuary 40 year old Charity Lenakukuya is in charge of almost 40 women who bring milk to the sanctuary twice a day in the morning and evening The vehicle comes at 7 a.m. They check if the milk is fresh. We pour it into the milk can and they take it to the sanctuary. A year ago, women did not have their own money. Now, the market is right at their doorstep. Kuanzia mwezi wa April mpaka sasa tumelipa zaidi ya karibu shilingi milioni 3. Naomi's duties include picking up the milk from the suppliers and preparing it for the calves. It is then boiled and cooled, but it has to remain warm for the calves. The milk is then mixed with other ingredients like oats, coconut flakes, moringa and others to add value to it. Previously, they used to use powdered milk, but it was a costly affair and they opted for powdered goat milk which was slightly cheaper. Afya hiyo sasa ikaanza tena nini kurudi? Ikaanza sasa tukaanza sasa kupata matumaini ya kuwaweka hawa watoto kwa sababu sasa hii hawapati hiyo shida ya tumbo au hali. The calves are fed eight times in 24 hours. They require 90 liters of milk from the community on a daily basis. It's a costly affair but necessary to ensure they remain healthy. Sasa zingine hata anaweza kuwa na uchovu, sasa zingine amekaa kwa maji sana. Tunapatia relax for two of hours. Alafu tunaanza kupatia ORS oral rehydration salts. The sanctuary has not only elevated the role of women in Namunyak, it has also given them a reason to be at the forefront in the conservation of elephants. Watu ambao wanakamua maziwa walikuwa wachache, lakini sasa hii hata wameongezeka hata sasa hii ni for 50. 21 elephants are currently sheltered at the sanctuary. 12 have been reunited with their mothers since the sanctuary began its operations. The sanctuary gets immediate reports when an elephant or its calf is in trouble. In total, 50 elephants have passed through the sanctuary or the hands of rangers stationed in the wild. Kama sisi Reteti community tumefanya kitu ya maana sana kukutanisha maadui wawili. The women have fully embraced their role in the conservation of elephants. Their activities have also had a ripple effect amongst the men who are now changing their perceptions and encouraging young girls to appreciate the value of education in order to follow the path that has been cleared by Naomi and her fellow elephant whisperers. Mashirima Kapombe Citizen TV, Samburu.